All right, guys, so I haven't made a video in a day because I hurt my finger pretty badly, and it wasn't my thumb like Abrigo, but it was enough to keep me from, oh my god, literally on time. It was enough to keep me from making a video for a day, so, yeah. But anyways, this is a review of the PvP monster, so it's a pretty important review. Galfuz. Now, he is a, how do I say this? And negative, he's a cursor, okay? He gives your enemies curses. Oh my god, I'll talk to him after. Uh, Apergo is also a Monster Legends YouTuber, check him out, he's pretty good. Alright, so speed stat, just to give you an idea, let's check out some other fast monsters from this era. So, okay, Calamity Ab Abyss is slow. These two, they're deniers, so... 8558 five, and 8600 so that's about the average i'd say in between there so it looks like he's doing pretty good just off the monsters that i just looked at so he's a pretty fast monster and as a cursor that's really all you're going for unless you try and run him as an attacker um he's like 500 points below where you want your attacker but i don't know i'll explain why you would even think about that later so abomination that's his first trait kind of a bad thing kind of a good thing so it's a bad thing right now because we're in abomination hater meta and you know now he's just gonna get targeted he's an abomination nature monster in a fire pierce monster meta and the most prevalent fire pierce monster has abomination hater in his trait so if you're in like the high meta he's not gonna last very long Second trait, immune to blind. Gives immunity to blind. Alright, as I say, immunity to this and bleed, which he does have in this abomination. Pretty nice. Uh, but at the end of the day, he won't get it used very much. And then, status caster, area damage reduction. So, you'll be reducing your enemy's damage. Uh, I can't say that this is the best, but I can't say that it's the worst. Because a lot of teams these days... They just don't have two dodge area monsters. They People are kind of like not giving up on it, but they're relying less on dodge area. They're doing like taunt, Uriel, then non-dodge area. So hey, if, if they run a setup like that, you'll get this on the pierce monster or the attacker. Thinking for the beginner's meta, there's never a mega taunt monster, so this is a pretty great trait. Abomination, even though it does make you weak because you'll be hunted... You get immunity to possession corruption, which is better than a normal immune to possession, because that doesn't also cover corruption. And nightmares and bleed, two very common dots that are most commonly given by abominations, funnily enough. Galfuz. The abomination named Galfuz has see-through patches of skin all over its body, along with terrifying along with a terrifying collection of eyes. Even the bravest monsters feel sick at the sight of the creature. They and they all right so let's check out his move set first we gotta feed the little guy up i don't want to feed him too much just because i'm saving food right now and he's definitely not the best monster but i'll feed him to just eh, whatever looks like it isn't too much food because he's like probably an f tier monster so don't want to invest oh in him too much but 70 is always a good spot to leave them and then you can just take them out into the um whoa big spider web you can just take them out into the adventure map for more xp so right now let's check out his moves viral leap i'm just gonna go off his best moves first otherwise known as the ones with these stars so viral leech deals low nature damage to all enemies okay low damage that's whatever applies toxins one of my honestly favorite new dots, I love the emblem, and you can't see what it does, but it makes all of, like, it gives, it's basically vulnerable, but with 15% nature damage, which actually means the dot and all the other dots you have on them is increased, so a pretty great dot. It's kind of like having Hellfire, you know, because one of the newer, better dots, that's going to give you more. And total damage reduction, so this kind of doubles down as a denial. And as you know, not very many people are immune to damage reduction. Although I think there is a few. Oh, I forgot to check this. Alien bacteria, zero stamina, zero cooldown. So, 
and it has a dot, so maybe you consider running it. That's up to you. Moderate nature damage looks to be about 30 to one enemy, and poison, so maybe, I don't know. I can't suggest it too much. Okay. D debilitating parasite. Deals low nature damage to all, applies damage reduction. Um, I wish it was major damage reduction, because, you know, if you want a spammable AoE, might as well have it do the better effect, but I guess for the purpose of it, this is your choice, but personally, I would not recommend running it. Vitality Nib. Deals moderate nature damage to one enemy, applies total blind. So, it's a single denial on a one turn cooldown, 36 stamina. Honestly, maybe you run it. Uh, I can't say that it'll give you the best results. But if you don't have another single deny, and there's a dodge area attacker you need to get rid of, maybe you run it, but I have yet to see his other moves. Blood infection applies, no, deals moderate nature damage, looks to be about 40, no, 35. And does poison and toxin. So this is like, I like this, this is powerful. It's on a one turn cooldown, 32 stamina, so it's about your average everything. Because poison and toxins by itself does like 23% damage to anybody. Even if they, um, even if they're a nature monster. Because toxins, just like vulnerable, gets rid of the elemental, um, protection if you're fighting your same element. So, if he doesn't have another move like this, definitely run it. Power Bite. Very low nature damage to one enemy. Applies major damage reduction. Alright, so low major damage reduction to one enemy. Damage reduction is kind of really bad, so I won't suggest it. Total damage reduction is alright, because it's, you know, they can't attack you at all. It's total. But, I don't know. Major is two turns. Maybe you run it, maybe you don't. It gives you an extra turn. I don't really see the good stuff in that. It's your average cost all around. 45 stamina and two turn cooldown. Let's see what else he has. Ex Exoplanet Flu. Deals low nature damage to enemies. Applies poison and vulnerable. Wow. Okay, so I really like this. You got poison, vulnerable, and toxins. So you can really destroy some people with dots. So vulnerable and toxins, I don't think they stack. I'll have to check that out in this video. You can only get that here, hey. So I'll check that out in a little bit when I'm checking something out. And then next, Power Bite. It's the low nature damage. Let's see. Catabolic Sting. There's Vulnerable. Hmm, maybe you do this. Oh, so that you can apply Vulnerable and Toxins in one skill. But what do you run? Do you run that single denial? Or do you... You need Honestly, you need these two AoEs. But do you run that single denial, or do you run the double dot to one? Pretty hard choice. I think I'm gonna go Catabolic Sting, because it gives you an extra turn, so it'll help you cycle your other cooldowns. What's the stamina cost, though? Ooh, 48. That's pretty steep for an extra turn. But honestly, I think this is his best skill set. Um, yeah. Maybe you run Power Bite, maybe you run Vitality... I would never run either of these, uh, maybe situationally, but yeah, definitely, in my mind, this is a team speed monster, but also, you can run him as a team strength monster, and I'll show you why in a little bit, maybe one team strength, one team speed, you want to have that little bit of diversity, let's see what his traits are, let me guess, essence, oh no, no essence, so, obligation trap, after damaging, do, do, do. where his life is below, eh, that'll probably kick in, I'll do this one, and I'll give you this one, hey, boost a random ally's damage, that's what you're all about, so the way I see it, this monster is only good for beginners who want to get more damage in the bounty hunt, and let me show you why, so I'm gonna have to go pretty far back i might even just cut to it but there is a node back here where an enemy has over 1 million health and i think that's perfect to show you what i want to show you here so oh already at node 200 huh i've been flying oh here it is so let's see three okay well it's not two million but it still works for the purpose of this video
stuff. So gonna get rid of these guys. Going to Okay, so you're not realistically gonna use this guy in PvP unless you want a dot dealer, right? So the way I see it, you use this guy to boost your damage output. So I'll put uh let's see. Phase no, phase rug boosts his own damage, so it doesn't really count. I'll use Clogor as the example. Alright. Ah, no. He's too fast, though. And you know what? It's fine. Get out of here, Teddy Bomb. Teddy Bomb, get out of here. You know what? It's alright. He's fine. Alright, so looky here. First, we'll just apply stun, right? Okay, didn't even hit everyone. We'll recharge here. And I want to show you what the dots can do. Oh, no. I messed this up. Darn. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here is, boom, this will do about 19, let's say 20k to all, right? And this will do 35.5k to all. So then it comes to Galphas, and they all have tough, so I don't know if this is really going to hit too well. Okay, vulnerable lands. Now let's try and hit them with the toxins. Toxins lands. All right, and one got toxins, and one got toxins and vulnerable so this is perfect look at that we have all three examples right here so he can buff your attacker's damage a pretty amount because look at this base damage 35k add that to toxins you're doing 55.3k damage you know and this is just to show you how much it stacks and even though she she has a lot more health so this is a lot more impressive than it looks it goes all the way to 80k so you more then double your damage output if you get both of those dots. And let's just say, look, you're running this setup. Boom, you give them a bunch of dots. I actually literally failed to give them a bunch of dots. Look, you give them some dots and they die. They just die instantly. Because, like, having vulnerable and toxins and a bunch of dots is a death sentence. So I can see his potential as a cursor. Would I suggest going out of your way to use him? Heck no. But would I say write him off if you're a beginner? Absolutely not. I think he's got some potential to be used in war. Like, all the time when I used to play war, so I'll say that you can run into this situation in the future, I would have two monsters. I would only need two monsters to win. Let's say it's just a normal Megaton base with, like, two attackers. I just need Teddy Mom and an attacker. So who's that third guy I can just put in there for fun? Maybe it's Galfuzz. All he's there to do is just make sure I deal more damage. So if you don't have someone like Phase Rug, no, not Phase Rug, um, that he's another YouTuber monster. It's gonna come to me. Forge Labs. All right, all these YouTuber monsters names starting with F is throwing me off. He's a pretty good pick. And just another thing I want to throw out there: I can now do Clog Wars Era Saga. Pretty cool. And I can do it with all three mythics. With that damage boost and sustainability, ooh, I've got this. But I just want to say, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it useful. I try to give you more insight because I felt like I had the ability to. Tell me if you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a, a like to support the video. I'm putting a lot more effort. And I hurt my finger. One like equals, I don't know, one regeneration. I don't know. Leave a comment. I always love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Will you never use him? Will you invest in him slightly? Just make him a team strength guy. And subscribe to join the Crab Army. We have just reached 93 subscribers. Pretty big milestone. We're on the road to 100. Join before 100, honestly. That's a big flex. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. And your favorite Omnius Crab, signing out.